Where's my game at? Uh, uh, game capture. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. It's Paul Yester here. Okay, so right now, Stream Loots has a thing going on where they're taking retweets, and for the number of retweets that they get, they're going to increase the discount that they'll give customers off of Stream Loots packs of cards. Right now, the tweet has, let me see, 160 retweets. If it can get to 200 retweets, they're going to kick this discount up to 30% off. It started out with 75 retweets would get 20% off, 125 retweets would get 25% off, and 200 retweets would get 30% off. So right now we're at the 25% off level. I know there's going to be some of you here who don't buy the stream loots packs, but even if you can just contribute your retweet it's going to help the people who do so if you wouldn't mind to just click on that tweet and give it a retweet to kick it up there i know we can get the other 40 retweets um and and reach that 30 percent off level and the, and this when it, it kicks into the 30 percent off level even this code that's on the screen for the 25 percent off that's going to be good through sunday it's a one-time code you can only use it once for one purchase but you could use this 25% off one now, and if by tomorrow it's kicked off to the 30% off, then that code will be good until Sunday. So significant savings available there for those who do partake in the stream loots. I, and again, I'd appreciate the retweet, even if you're somebody who just turns in your Zester points for free packs, that tweet will help us instrumentally, especially when King and I are going into the Black Friday 12 hour stream and people will be able to use the 30% off discount code, assuming we get there all day that day. So that will save uh, a lot of money for folks who are gonna participate on our 12 hour collaborative stream. My wife's promising me she's gonna be giving me a haircut and I'm like, when? And she goes, I don't know, soon. I'm trying to disgust her. So I'm walking around the house like this to try and get her to give me a haircut. She's not going for it. It's like maybe Thursday, all right. Whatever you say, Laverne. Hello. <laughs> my son today told me, he's like, you're a wolf man. I'm like, I, I know. Oh, you know what my wife did to me the last time she gave our son a haircut? She like, you know, just, she just grabs a towel out of the bathroom and just puts it around his neck as like, you know, haircut, grape cloth, whatever you call it. And she cuts his hair with this. And well, then she hung, <laughs> she hung the towel back up in the bathroom. And I went and had a shower and I came out and I grabbed the towel and I started drying myself off. And I'm like, what is happening? Why does my face feel funny? And I'm like, oh my God, I got hair. I just washed myself and I got hair all over my face from the haircut. I'm like, did you really take the drop cloth from the haircut and hang it back up in the bathroom? And she's laughing from the bedroom at me. I'm like, this isn't funny. I can't believe you did this. I have hair all over me now. Why would you hang this back up? Like, how good do you think you were at catching all the hairs when you were cutting them? <laughs> like, I'm like, did you even snap the towel out or anything? There's hair everywhere. And she just thought it was the funniest thing. I was not as amused as she was. In retrospect, I can see the humor in it, but I was not happy at the time. I'm like, I can't believe you just hung this back up. So from time to time, people try to get me to play their game. So a representative for the game, uh, Sherlock Holmes Chapter One, they reached out to me and they said, would you like a code for this game? If so, here it is. So the email just basically has like a free Steam code for the Sherlock Holmes. It, it was a beta but like, I guess it was a full code, but I would, could have played it early if I wanted to and had like an embargo to not publish any of the, the gameplay before November 15th. Anyway, they gave me the code and I was behind even activating it. So today I said, oh, I never did activate that code. Let me go see, because I heard that the game was out fully now. So I went and activated the call code and I'm like, I like mysteries. I might dig this game. This looks pretty cool. It kind of reminded me of like a Hitman game, but with, you know, a Sherlock Holmes mystery feel to it where it's open world and you walk around and stuff. So I'm like, this looks pretty neat. 
So I'm walking around this hotel in the game and I'm like just exploring because it's open world and I'm looking at all the fine art on the wall, the paintings and everything and there's a statue and it looked like kind of like a, you know, a, um, a copy of Michelangelo's David statue and I'm looking at the statue, looking at all the art everywhere and um, so then Wops calls me on Discord and he wants to talk about um, some Pops that he's considering selling, trading. What should he do? And was it a good deal, a good price? But I took the Discord call and I just left the game open there with my Sherlock Holmes character standing in front of the statue. And uh, so then I got off the call and then I'm like, okay, well, I messed around with this Sherlock Holmes game enough. I'll maybe revisit it another day, make a video of it or whatnot and stuff. So I turned it off and I go upstairs and my son said, so how did you like that Sherlock Holmes game? And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's interesting. I think it would be something I would like a lot. And he says, I noticed your fascination with that statue's penis. And I said, what? What are you talking about? And he was like, well, you were standing in front of that statue looking at the penis for like a half an hour. And I said, what do, you, what do you mean? I was just exploring the game. And he goes, no, you were standing in front of the statue for so long. And I'm like, oh, that must have been when Womps called. And I just like left the game open and looked away. He goes, yeah, it was when you're on the call with Womps. And I'm like, okay, well, that's like, that's a little different then. Hey, let me go check out the package on this statue. <laughs> Please don't tell your mom. <laughs> I mean... The statue didn't have any, maybe the statue was a grower because it wasn't a shower. There was nothing to brag about on the statue, but I'm like, yeah, that, I'm like, how, how is that the first thing you're saying about the game? Hey, that game looked pretty cool. I got some statue peen to check out, huh? <laughs> I'm like, really? But he just had me busting out laughing. The way he worded it, I noticed your fascination. I was like, oh, oh my God. Did you ever get caught by a family member while looking at porn? It's kind of the same thing. Son walks in. What's dad doing? Oh, statue peen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if it comes up with my wife. No, see, what really happened, hon, is I was playing a video game and my friend called me to talk about Funko Pops and it's just totally coincidental that the statue peen was on my screen, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing so hard with the way he worded that to me. I noticed your fascination. I was like, what? Join the VC. Okay. Hi. Uh-oh. Hello? Can I hear myself? Yeah. Can't they hear me? They're freezing me out. Yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the statue that he was accusing me of having a fascination with. And I thought, oh, maybe it's weird if I, like start showing naked peen statues on stream I might get in trouble oh no he wants to show us his vhs bonsoir okay. bonsoir hello now you're trying to show us statue peen what oh. has happened to this stream it used to be so wholesome the yeah i'm just walking out to the eel yep they're in the bears no they're going to Ah! The squad room. There's one uh, over here by the fire. Ah! Whee! 95. Ah! Yeah. Does anybody need clarification on what a VHS tape, tape is? Probably closest right now. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not used to that. Ah! Oh! Someone somewhere out there is still waiting on their pizza from Dwight. What is this map good for? Nothing. Go get the gate. Ah! It's still blocked off. And now? Uh, he came to the gate and it's still blocked off. What the hell? Tough clown. Tough customer. No way out always makes me think of the bone saw scene from Spider-Man. I got you for I got you for 60 seconds. Whoever's across the street from me is the second closest, and whoever's teabagging is the furthest. That's me. Oh, he is Iron Maiden. <laughs> Maybe in the school? <laughs> Maybe. You can that. Okay. That's why I got, I got turned around. I got to open the door. Go for it. Let's go in here. 
You take a hit from me or whatever it takes. <laughs> Unique Christmas. It says hoodie, so it might be that uh, might be that silky material like my like my Squid Game shirt. I better make it big. It says Unique Christmas hoodie for the top 20%. Where it says Unique Christmas, so they're gonna put my name there. Please request them to just send it so it just says streamer's name. <laughs> the box. You opened it, and I came. There's me. Oh, shit. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Randall, Randall. Oh my God, you're no longer allowed to play with us. I didn't know you were behind me. All I saw was this. <laughs> you fucked <laughs> all of us. The palette and I saw both here. Andrew's got enough with my peen statue story to make the video for tomorrow. <laughs> He's got enough content. <laughs> the video today, I'm hey, like, yeah, hey, you, you know, there's like not actually random, any though. Dead by Daylight like play in this entire video, right? Like, it's just oh. blah, 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 blah. It's a Gen Rush life for us. It's a Gen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set our randoms, we got friends. It's a Gen Rush life.